and then also gross world product, the trends. The gross world product is like um, gross domestic product, but for the entire world. It's the economic, it's the sum of all uh, uh, final goods and services <coughs> for the world itself. And this is plotted on a natural law graph. And I do that because if it's exponential, if it's exponential, it, it's a straight line on a law graph. And the slope of the straight line gives you the exponential growth rate. Uh, and, this, and you see how remarkably straight it is. I put the last few years in, and it looks like we maybe get, we're getting off the line, and now we're back to it. Maybe, maybe we overheated in some kind of way. I, I, mean, you know, I mean that metaphorically. Uh, on, the, on the right is, are the actual trillions of 2005 U.S. dollars. And you see, that because it's a law graph, the numbers are not uh, even, but they get, uh, uh, you, you, you have larger jumps as you get closer together. <coughs> It's, it's, it's trying to make a prediction with, with you know, extrapolating a graph is, 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 is foolish. I'm not trying to say the world is going to go in this line, but I want to show you what happens if it does continue growing at 3%. Uh, and it's remarkable that it's been so even because certain countries fall, China's growing at 9%. But the world as a whole seems to be some kind of system, almost biological life, like that is cranking out this three percent growth rate. And if it goes to 2050 at this rate, um, you, we reach an enormous number. But I like to show this graph because the number I think is very. Uh, we can interpret this number in an interesting way. At this point, if the world continues growing, we get the gross world product about four times what it is today. My, you know, my gosh, four times the world, today's world output in 2050, is that going to be possible? If it does reach that state, and assuming the world population is 8 billion or 9 billion, at that point, the average world person is like today's average European or Japanese. It takes another 40 years of this growth rate, fantastic growth rate, compounded, just to get the world's average person up to today's average European or Japanese, not even yet today's average American, not even at today's average American. And presumably those countries, the Western countries, want to grow even more, right? No president's going to run on, uh, we've got enough. So, <laughs> so you first, th there's kind of sh a shock here to see this number, but then, I personally decided I have to, in a way, morally support. We have to figure out how to do this, because if we don't, a lot of the world stays in tremendous poverty. 